Hello, and welcome back to FPV Reviews. A few days previously, we'd made a high-altitude flight above the cloud layer, mostly just for fun, and also to get an idea of the altitude potential of the Maxwell S2 Mini UAV. We'd reached an altitude of 6,050 meters on our previous attempt. That's nearly 20,000 feet in American. And we wondered what it would be like to make the same type of flight in clear atmospheric conditions. A friend had calculated that it should be theoretically possible to see about 150 miles in each direction from that altitude, given the curvature of the Earth's surface. We live in a place in Latin America which has large mountain ranges and lots of very fine volcanic dust, as well as local wind conditions, which tend to take that dust and blow it everywhere, including into my house and workshop. Even though it seems like it sometimes, not all of the dust ends up in my house, and quite a bit of it ends up in the first thousand feet or so of the atmosphere. So, we didn't expect to actually be able to see the full 150 miles, but we did want to see what was possible. On the second flight, we picked carefully a quite clear day, and made a very concerted effort to climb more aggressively this time. We made it up to 6,460 meters high, which is 21,194 feet in American. Looking at the HD footage from the Mini Mobius camera afterwards, we were able to see at least 120 kilometers, or about 75 miles to the north, and about 165 kilometers, about 100 miles to the south, and probably about the same to the east, although the features of the terrain over there were harder to positively identify. We think we could see even further, but it becomes very blurry and it's hard to tell just what we're looking at. Of course, this mini action cam with wide-angle lens is far from ideal for this type of use, but it's what we had on the plane, and for now it's satisfied our curiosity. The climb took about 35 minutes, which is an average rate of about 3 meters per second of climb. At this altitude, over half of the Earth's atmosphere, by density, is below us. While we did not have an outside air temperature meter on board the aircraft, we do know that the temperature at sea level that day was about 68 degrees Fahrenheit, or 20 degrees centigrade. The temperature drops by an average of about 6.5 degrees C for every 1,000 meters of altitude gained, as a rule of thumb. So, the temperature at altitude that the plane experienced was about 42 degrees C lower than at sea level, or about negative 22 degrees C, or negative 7.6 degrees Fahrenheit. This is almost 40 degrees Fahrenheit below freezing. Electronics, such as the flight controller, ESCs, and other modules, as well as electrical equipment like the electric motors, current sensor, and wiring, generally like very cold temperatures. Lithium-ion batteries, not so much, but since the batteries were under a load of nearly 2C, they performed very well because they probably stayed relatively warm during the ascent phase of the flight. The fuselage has cooling through NACA-style inlet ducts and vents out of the rear of the fuselage. So it's likely that the batteries did get very cold on the glide down. Each cell is cross-ventilated inside of the fuselage. It took even longer to glide back down than it took to climb up. And at times, we pushed the nose down a little bit to accelerate the process. On the way down, we observed a vortex shedding effect in the water of the bay from the mouth of the estuary while the tide was going out, which was progressing into a full von Karman vortex street. This repeating pattern of swirling vortices is caused by separation of flow around the sandbar at the entrance to the estuary. Ironically, 
At this exact moment, the same vortex shedding effect was likely causing some jello effect in the HD video during the relatively high-speed glide by creating turbulent flow from the windmilling props over the wing and tail of the Maxwell S2. This particular Maxwell S2 Mini UAV is a test mule, and the finished aircraft design will be improved with more lift and a battery that's 25% larger than the one used for this flight. This makes us wonder what altitude would be possible with the finished production aircraft and with larger UAVs using the same aerodynamic and propulsion technology, as well as flight control software. Additionally, it's an inspiration for us to push our solar-powered aircraft, Solar Dragon, onward with future development to see what it's capable of, as it's not limited in battery capacity due to getting its energy from its solar cells in flight. Even if it can climb at a slower rate than the Maxwell S2, it should be able to do so for many hours during the daytime, possibly achieving a much higher altitude. Additionally, solar cells get significantly more efficient at those low temperatures, and we recently ordered new motors for it with much higher pitch props, which should work very well in the thin atmosphere of upper altitudes. We also have plans to expand its battery pack so it can store more energy to climb above its potential on pure solar power or to stay at that altitude for longer after solar evening, the time when solar production matches electrical consumption for an aircraft. More than anything, though, these types of flights make us really appreciate the beautiful Earth on which we live, this floating sphere of an autonomous spaceship that carries us hurtling through space around the sun, providing us with solar radiation, H2O, and an amazing magnetosphere, which works far better than the force shields on the starships of science fiction. Indeed, we have much to be thankful for. We really hope you enjoyed this flight with us and hope you join us on future journeys. We now have a step-by-step -step guide with simple wording and straightforward explanations which can fast-track you to success with Arduplane. This document is now available on our website at the link below in the description. Pre-production prototypes are also available of the Maxwell S2 Mini UAV while they last on our website. So if you want to just skip the whole process and get straight to flying, we do have an option for that now. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of the future episodes that we have planned. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.